<laughs> All right, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And I'm Charlotte. And these are two vehicles that have a lot more alike than you would think. And pretty soon we'll probably only have one of these guys. Absolutely. So for those of you who are maybe new to the Kia Hyundai channel, if you are a Kia Soul lover or a Kia Soul hater, hater. <laughs> we do know that those exist. This might be the video for you because if you are a lover, Unfortunately, the soul has been discontinued, but you might not find, yet, not yet, not yet, soon, soon. You <laughs> might find some similarities for your next vehicle purchase in the Seltos. Now, if you're a Kia Soul hater, it's, this might be good news for you. Yeah, this might be good news for you. It's been discontinued, not right now, but in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also shows you some of the really cool stuff that Kia and Hyundai have both been doing in the past couple of years that may get you a little bit more interested in the brand, which leads us into the three different reasons why we do these videos. All right, number one, if you have a Kia or Hyundai vehicle, we want to give you. Sorry, this always happens. It. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> we want to give you all the information there is to know about these cars. That way you can make an informed purchase decision when you go to buy your next vehicle. Number two, which kind of leads us into number two directly. If you are in the market for a car, I strongly suggest you take a look at Kia and Hyundai product. They've changed a lot over the last few years, especially in recent times. Um, unbeatable value, great features, great price point, everything about them, phenomenal. That's why we dedicated a whole channel to talk about them. Mm -hmm. And then number three, we're actually a dealership. So me and Charlotte, we don't just do these videos for funsies. We work here, we support these cars, we stand by them, we love mm -hmm. to talk about them, but of course we also sell them and service them. So if you're located within Ontario, Canada, stop by our dealership for your next vehicle, stop by for a service, we'd love to help you out. Absolutely. And what dealerships do we have actually? Because there's three of them. We have Brantford Kia, which is where myself and Gabby are, but we also have Brantford Hyundai and Owen Sound Hyundai and subscribe to this channel. I'm also gonna throw that in there while we're talking about the <laughs> stuff that we had. <laughs> All right, so we always have a super long intro, but you know, we're gonna get right into mm -hmm. the actual information part of the video, <laughs> if so, there is one. <laughs> so Gabby, we're not doing a walkthrough of both of these vehicles, even though we have, no. we're focusing on something different. Yes, so something that we're gonna focus on today is not necessarily what you get in each car, but what are the main differences? What would lead someone to get the Seltos over the Soul or vice versa? Why would you get the Soul over the Seltos? And also, when the Seltos does get axed, would you still find the value you're looking for in the Seltos? And I think you would. Number one, these vehicles actually share a powertrain depending on the trim level. If you're looking at a base model Kia Seltos and a base model Soul, they have the same engine and the same uh, transmission. So you'll get 147 horse with 132 pound feet of torque coming from a two liter four cylinder gas engine. You're also gonna get an intelligent variable transmission and everything is fairly equal. Now, one thing that you do get as a benefit in the Kia Seltos is the addition of all wheel drive, depending on what trim level you're looking at. Because we do live in Canada and we experience harsh winters sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> this is a great feature for a lot of our consumers and something that leads a lot of buyers to the Seltos, which has slowly led to the demise of the Kia Soul. So if you're sad about the Kia Soul being axed, you guys did it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> now, something that makes the Kia Soul a winner for a lot of our customers is the fact that it is a little bit lower than the Celto. So for some of our consumers, it's easier to get in and out of. And because it's literally a square with wheels, it is so, so easy to get a huge amount of headroom and usable space in this vehicle. You'd be really surprised with how much you can throw in here. And we used to use one as our daily service driver and we put bumpers in this car. So instead of using a pickup truck to move parts, we literally used a Kia Soul and it worked perfectly and it was far more efficient. All right, <laughs> now back to the Kia Seltos because here is something that may move you towards it. If you're someone who loves power on your vehicle and you love a responsive drive, you do get the option of a two, not two liter, oh my goodness, 1.6 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. I'm gonna pop the hood because the vehicle I'm showcasing today is actually equipped with the turbo. So this specific model is called the SX. It is probably the best value trim in my opinion because it does offer this more robust powertrain, but it also gives you an eight speed automatic transmission as opposed to an IVT. And if again, you're someone who appreciates a very engaged responsive drive, a traditional automatic will give you more mm -hmm. of <clears throat> that controlled feeling and most enthusiasts prefer a regular automatic as opposed to an IVT. If you want to know more about IVTs, CVTs, and just all transmissions, we actually are filming a podcast episode that will launch on Sunday talking about it. And it's a pretty hot topic. I got a lot to say about it. All right, so powertrain wise, this one's great. You get that increased horsepower of 195 with 195 pound feet of torque. And again, with this trim, you're gonna get an all wheel drive system. Another thing that makes it very different from the Kia Soul is the fact that it is not a box. So while you still get that great headroom and that increased ride height, 
It's a completely different look, so far more of a traditional SUV. I really do like the Kia Seltos. It's sharp, it comes in a bunch of fun colors. You get the option of front wheel drive, all wheel drive. There's totally a Seltos for your lifestyle. All right, we're gonna come over to the rear end. Here's something that was added for 2024 that really changes the Kia Seltos. It makes it an even stronger contender. So it's looking pretty bleak for the Soul right now. I, I promise I'll, I have some good things to say about the Soul. All right, so now we have a power lift gate available. So every trim above the EX Premium here in Canada gets this, and I love it. Who doesn't love a power lift gate? You also get this cargo cover. There is a spare tire underneath the floor. Give her a look. And when it comes to space itself, there's a lot of room behind the third row, or not the third row, the back row of seats. So for a majority of people's lifestyles, this is sufficient room, which is quite nice. I'm gonna close this up. We'll take a look at the rear end. No backup sensors on this vehicle, but you do get a beautiful backup camera, third mounted brake light, and full LED tail lights on this trim level. There are some advanced tech features that are just not available in the Kia Soul, but um, I guess I'll point them out. So when it comes to our door handle, this is our new one. It does not have a button on it, and it's called our digital key to touch. So essentially, if I want to unlock my car, as long as I have the key on me or in my hand, I can drop my hand behind the handle, pull it, it unlocks, and then when I'm done driving my car, I'll push on the indent and it locks my car for me. Vehicle's freaking out because the key is sitting inside there and it doesn't know what it wants, I want it to do. <laughs> right, let's move over to the sole now. Okay, this sole literally just came off the truck. Me and Charlotte just ripped off the plastic 20 minutes before. So if it's dirty, I'm sorry guys, it wasn't in the marketing budget, only one car per day. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pop the hood and talk about the powertrain. The Soul used to be available with the turbocharge option, which is a lot of fun, and a lot of our consumers did really appreciate that. Fortunately, it's no longer an option, so you're only gonna get the option of this two liter four cylinder gas engine, which like I mentioned earlier on the Seltos, does have, oh, it's dirty under here too, 147 horsepower with 132 pound feet of torque. So again, very, very capable. Where this vehicle is gonna shine is it gives you the space of an SUV or a crossover, I should say, but you don't get that harsh fuel efficiency because of this engine and because it is a front wheel drive. Now you may be saying, but I need all wheel drive. Depending on your lifestyle, maybe you do, but a majority of drivers actually don't. If you wanna know more about that, again, we've done a podcast on it. Someone like me, I drive very, very far every single day for work on the highway. I've gotten away with front wheel drive with every single car I've owned and they've all been low sedans. So the Soul, the Soul, sorry, is a little bit higher, giving it an advantage. If front wheel drive, it's fine. Puts no tires on it though. All right, for the look of the vehicle, again, very, very different. Full LED headlights on this trim level, which I do like. One thing they changed for 2023, they included the Kia emblem behind this panel. So this glass panel, tying it in with the headlights, I think it looks really good. The grille is very wide and mean looking, which kind of, it makes me laugh a little bit on the Soul because the Soul is such a, a fun, like loving looking car. And again, when they debuted it a while ago with the hamsters, everyone thought of it, it's a cute car, right? But now it looks kind of mean. So I don't know what vibe I'm getting from it anymore. Nonetheless, even in the entry level Kia Soul, you're gonna get great safety features. This EX, for example, is definitely the top pick if you're looking for the Kia Soul because it gives you all that efficiency, plus some fantastic standard features like forward collision avoidance, lane keep and follow assist, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Pretty nice. All right, let's take a look inside and see where some of the differences lie between these vehicles. I'm gonna to switch to Charlotte now. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, so Gabby gave us a great rundown on some of the key differences and a lot of it. Now, the vehicles that we have chosen today, they're probably gonna be the best value ones that a lot of customers are aiming to pick. They're also the ones that we had. Yes. So, <laughs> I think a big disclaimer is this is the fully loaded version of the Seltos, yes. the one below, and this is one, one above the, the entry base. for the Soul. So if it seems like an unfair comparison, it's because it is. <laughs> yeah, but it's what we got. Yeah. And we also will tell you what features you are able to get exclusively on the Seltos versus not available in the Soul. There, truthfully, there isn't that many when it comes to tech and convenience features. One of the big ones, so of course, is going to be the inclusion of heads-up display, which is available on the Seltos. And a lot of people really love that. Also, some of it is going to come into play when it comes to the screen size too. But I will have Gabby actually give a look and give a nice pan over for the Soul. That way you guys can check out the cabin space. Now, as we said, in the Soul lineup, there's five different trims available, and this is a one up from the base, and it is probably going to be the most popular trim. You can see that we have some cloth seats, manual adjustable seats, but we still have a good amount of comfort features in here. You know, we're still gonna have heated seats. We still have a heated steering wheel that is leather wrapped and still some great accents. 
driving controls, media controls, and for your screen, we do have a digital speedometer and tachometer, but we do have a 4.2 inch t uh, cluster or changeable screen in the center. <laughs> All my words are messed up today. And for this vehicle, that is the biggest screen size you can get for your digital cluster. When it comes to infotainment, you can go up to the 10, uh, 10 and a quarter inch screen, which is on the EX Premium. But here showcased, we have the eight inch screen. Or, yeah, eight inch. Yep, eight inch. There we go. Now, with this vehicle, start connecting Android Auto or Apple Phone Flit. There you go. You can see that we do have the inclusion of wireless CarPlay, which we do love to see, and that is great that that's available on this feature or on this vehicle. You also have a wireless phone charger, which is very rare that you see this as a more high end feature in one up from the base. So I love that that's included, and you still have tons of room down here for storage. Like I said, you're going to have your heated seats, and also you have drive modes. So they're going to be different from here than on the Celtos, but you do have the inclusion of sport mode on this vehicle, giving it a little bit more of a sporty feel. Well, at least as sporty as a Kia Soul can be, which you'd be you surprised. Know what? It's pretty sporty. I was going to say, you'd be surprised at how sporty it is. <laughs> but you do have a real handbrake and still tons of space that we know and love about this vehicle. Mm -hmm. I once drove a Kia Soul all the way over to Mount Albert, Ontario. It was a beautiful black Kia Soul, and I think I hit a new speed record. <laughs> Blair, if you're watching this, I'm joking. <laughs> They are zippy, they're surprisingly peppy, yeah. and that is something that makes them so fun to drive. <laughs> we'll show the space. Now a huge draw of the sole is the fact that you do have a fair bit of space in the cabin, and a lot of people love how you sit up high, you're very uh, so able much to <laughs> easily see over the hood, and tons of headroom and tons of space in the back seat. And I'm not sure how well you can tell, but look how low this hump is too. So even if you're sitting back here in the middle seat, not only is this middle seat quite wide, it's almost the same width as these irregular seats in the bench, but you have tons of leg room, tons of knee room, and I have two USB-Cs down at the bottom too. So even though, again, this is an introductory trim, I'm still having some nice convenience features showcased. Other than that, some great graphite detail. Uh, of course, as you go up in trims too, you're gonna have the available Harman Kardon sound system and you're gonna get a Bose premium sound system for the Seltos. I never showed the trunk. I guess I can quickly pop this open. Um, because this is completely flat, the door is very, very flat. You get a very wide opening space, so check that out. Mm -hmm. Very easy to load and unload cargo. The cargo floor actually drops down if you'd like it to. And that. you have a spare tire. And guys, look at how deep this is in here. Like, look at how much extra usable space that you can have with this being dropped down. And a lot of people would be surprised at the difference between the Soul and the Seltos. Of course, the Seltos is still going to be a bigger vehicle, but there's not a massive, massive difference when it comes to the trunk size with the second row being up. There's it's gonna sound like a lot, but it's close to about 100 liters difference, which when you look at these vehicles in the size class, size class that they're in, it's pretty comparable. So I think that if you are looking for space, the Seltos is going to be a great option for you. But yeah, I love, love the Soul. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. Alright, Seltos. Yeah, now we can hop inside the Seltos. Was there anything you wanted to add about the Soul? Um, I guess just why the Seltos was created. A lot of our consumers mm -hmm. were asking for an all-wheel drive version of the Soul, and Kia said, no, we're going to give you something else. <laughs> And this is what they gave us. <laughs> yes, so this one here showcase it is going to be our all wheel drive model, but we do have the option for two, an LX and an EX front wheel drive. So something very cool about the Seltos is I truly think that there's a Seltos for everyone because there are seven different options and Ooh. two of those are front wheel drive. Like that's insane. And we have multiple different powertrains available. Yeah, that's crazy. So I really think that there is a Seltos for everyone and a Seltos for every budget. Now, as we said, this is the XX, SX, so one down from the top. So you can see that we're already getting into those more premium features like the premium sound system. We've got memory seats, power adjustable seats that are heated and ventilated. Still same heated steering wheel too. <laughs> and in this vehicle, <laughs> should I be scared? I'm just laughing at Zoran. Oh, always. Um, <laughs> do you want to see a quick thing between the Seltos and the Soul? Soul has sunglass holder. <gasps> yeah, baby. Nothing for the Seltos. So immediately disqualified. Yeah. <laughs> By the soul. Bring back <laughs> but, the Kia soul. But try to save it anyway, Charlotte. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, it's going to be so hard to recover from that. <laughs> when it comes to our screens, we do have a dual tw uh, 10 and a quarter inch screens. Uh, so nice and big and also some different graphics when it comes to our cluster. Again, digital for speedometer, tachometer. And again, 
a little bit a different look here in our Supervision cluster. I like that they're conjoined. I love the look at this and the display. Uh, now in this vehicle, you do have dual climate control showcase available also on the sole as you go up in trims, but lots of options. You're still getting that wireless phone charger, still ways for connectivity and fast charging and also you've got your drive modes. So you still have sport mode on this vehicle, but you also have the inclusion of smart mode, which is designed uh, to go more off of driver input to give you the best fuel economy, but maybe it still won't be as good fuel economy as the Soul. Never knows. Definitely won't be. You never know. Depends on how you drive. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Um, there is an all wheel drive system, but there's no terrain modes, right, Charlie? That's correct. Yes, there's no terrain modes. Uh, both vehicles are gonna have a backup camera still. This is the one, of course, shown on the Seltos. Now, something else that's interesting is neither of these vehicles are rated to tow in Canada. I know there's stories from other places in the world, um, but of course, both of them, you would be able to put like a bike rack, something like that, an accessory hitch on them, and this camera would be great for lining them up. Radio, media. Now, because this is all-wheel drive, it also does have a locking differential, so you can manually lock your differential from this button here. Also, electronic parking brake and auto hold, which we have a video coming on at 6 p.m. tonight. Woo! Ooh, promo. Let's take a look at some of the space in the back seat. I think we should go to the other side. It's okay. Kind of tight squeeze. There's another Celsos. Starburst yellow. Very interesting. <laughs> it's a fun color. It's certainly fun. We said fun colors. We literally have Starburst yellow and lunar orange here. So yeah, we are. We got all the fun colors. Here, here's a little. <laughs> I think it was MG that said, wait, which car was detailed? Because I mentioned only one car went to the detail budget. Um, I have some questions. <laughs> Gabby's. Ah! Oh boy. Oh All gosh. right. So this is the back seat of the Seltos. So again, I still have a good amount of headroom. In the front, I did have the sunroof up above. Uh, I believe that serves on the EX. So that's gonna decrease your headroom a little bit. But I do not feel like I have as much headroom as I do in the Soul. And again, that just comes to the space, the design of the vehicle. Uh, but again, still a very wide seat in the middle but I do have a bigger hump with this being all wheel drive. I've got rear air vents, which again, we love to see and still have those two USB C's. And these two seats are going to be heated for your seating pleasure as well. But that's really gonna be our biggest comparison is really gonna be the space. Yeah. What it comes down to. Depending again. on what vehicle, you have the option for LED headlights and tail lights. Again, very different look, but that's of course, because we're comparing a top trim Seltos to uh, mid-trim Kia Soul, mm -hmm. something more, I guess, competitive would be nice, but inventory is not there yet. When it comes down to pricing, so I mentioned for the Soul, there's five different trim options. Uh, the LX, you're going to start at $22,795, and your top trim, you're going to be at $29,695. And then also, oh, I'm not even in frame. <laughs> Let me grab this. And then for the top trim of the Seltos, you're gonna be looking at a 38,545, and that's gonna be our uh, X line. And then also for the base, you're gonna be at 25,345. So quite a big price mm -hmm. range there too, which is really cool. So really is something for everyone and for every budget too. But um, that's true, both vehicles. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see, lots of Zorin comments that I'm just gonna skip over. Good afternoon, all. Let's keep respectful to the host. Thank you, Thanks, Ryan. Ryan. Um, let's applaud Gabby. She got new fans. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> That's pretty funny. Me and I didn't see that one and I laughed. So, of course, I did. Um, I changed my pant color today. We're doing another earthy tone. And to my surprise, I came to work and Tim was not wearing a blue suit. So, obviously, your comments are getting to us. They're working. Th they're working, yeah. I always said I would never give any peer pressure, but apparently, Here we go. apparently I'm folding, <laughs> so. All right, let's see. Um, I don't get the lack of pneumatic struts on the hood. Same with my PHEV. Yeah. Um, I do like how, oh, sorry, I blocked Zorin, so Gabby and I would have more alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. I like this. Kia Telluride X-Pro 2024. Hi. Yeah! Tim, Speaking of no blue give us, suits. Give us an outfit of the day. Give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. It, they're gray pants, so a gray suit, but I still have blue buttons. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So Your shirt is blue. It's, um, yeah, just not to ruin the whole Yeah, the your streak. Of blue. Well, I, what, what, would happen? Versus what would happen if you didn't green. wear blue? Like, would you die? 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> Everything okay. I have is blue there we go. or gray. Yes. <laughs> is that okay? Except and it's for the new gray pants with blue. And then black. Yeah, Charlotte's pulling an all black outfit. I'm all black today. Yeah. I'm not. I'm still wearing an earth tone. Funeral chic. No longer green. Matches the car. The so, brown? Gray. Brown and lunar orange. This is literally orange. Yeah, I know. It's the same color as the other nice. What's that? Star bright yellow? Yeah. Thank yeah, you so much for this informative. Wow. <laughs> Goodbye. This channel gives you all the important information you need to know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what's your shoes? Um, I changed my shoes in the parking lot today and a man at the car wash next to me watched and saw me drop my shoe and jump around like this until I could find it. So it's, um, yeah. Anyway, what were we doing today? Uh, we were talking about cars, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay, fun question of the day. Do you think you can do an exterior walkthrough blindfolded? If you told me what car it was, yes. Probably, yeah. Yeah, so if I knew the car and the trim level beforehand, no problem. Let us know if we should try it. Yeah. I okay. think that'd be fun. All right. <laughs> um, love Tim's awesome outfits. Uh, Louise is asking if the Stinger is still on sale. Still on sale. And it is not. The last year to purchase a Kia Stinger was 2023. After that, no more. No more production. No more allocation. No more nothing. You can only find them used. Or if a dealership still has one registered as new, hasn't been sold, then there you go. Yeah. But we miss that car. We really miss that car. Big time. Just trying to look for some questions. Um, no SE or SEL trim on the Santa Fe in Canada. No, so we don't typically go by that naming structure. Our entry is called the preferred usually, and then usually there's a preferred with trend. And then usually our top trim level is called the calligraphy or ultimate calligraphy. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I want answers. What caused Tim to walk around like a mummy? So it's, when Tim is in his zone, he's he's locked in, and I think he just had this like power stride. Like it's he just, has stuff to do. Yeah, it's just how he is. Tim so. is a very intense person. <laughs> like, and when he's when his mind is on something, it's like zoom, laser, nothing else. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I miss the Kia Rio. You and me both. Yeah. Um, two iconic legendary cars to Kia's lineup have been asked yeah, I know. this year. The Rio and the Soul. It's tragic. <laughs> oh, what about the K5? I guess three. <laughs> Is the Kia Rio more iconic than the Kia I K5? I think it might. The, it had a long run. Yes, like it the did. Rio or the K5 didn't have that long of a stint. Um, what's your personal favorite, the Seltos or the Soul? Okay, so the Soul I believe is iconic, and I truly believe that to my core. I think it's the like iconic brand car, but I think the Seltos is probably more in line with Kia's vision for the future. Yep. And I've driven a Seltos, I haven't for about a year, and I really did enjoy it. But I did drive a Soul when I was in high school because that was my sister's all-time favorite car. Really? Yeah, and it got the job done absolutely. So I don't know, different reasons, but. Yeah. I definitely prefer the powertrain options on the Seltos. I do appreciate mm -hmm. a regular automatic and a turbocharged engine, but um, I think both cars are great. That's the thing is they're, like when it comes to the Seltos, there really is something for everyone. Yeah. And there's I more, love that. I there's think more that is things so cool. to choose from. Yeah, absolutely. So you may find more of what you're looking for for the price point that you want. Yeah. Um, let's see. No love for the Rondo. The Rondo has been gone for a long time actually. Yeah. Rondos, you cannot kill. I love no. Rondos. We still have a lot of customers taking their Rondos in for service. They're like, oh yeah, I got my 09 Rondo. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, you do. <laughs> That's awesome. Actually, oh no, I was going to say there's one right there, but it's not. No. All right. Gabby, one more answer, please. That's all I ask for. What is the question? Oh, is that the same comment that made Gabby lose it yesterday's video, also causing an early <laughs> end to the live video? Yeah. Yes. Once I it start, was pretty funny. I can't stop laughing. Like, once I, I start... <laughs> Um, it was just better for everyone. We had a pretty good laugh when uh, finishing the video. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Still waiting for a panel roof in the Kia Seltos. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll happen, but it would be nice, I guess. I think the cab is a little too small for Support it. it. Yeah. yeah. Like, they would have to probably increase the base of it. Um, let's see. Yes, and Charlotte should be a blindfolded operating the camera. I don't think we can both be blindfolded. That would end up in someone walking. We're like in, filming the wall. Yeah, walking into the. <laughs> social I love experiment. looking out of the window. <laughs> okay. Um, Diane said, "My Rondo is 14 years old and counting, and I love it." Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> 
Um, Darren asked, off topic, but do you have any stock on the Nero PHEVs? I'm looking to buy one, but they are difficult to find. So out of all the Nero trim levels from hybrid to electric, the PHEV is the hardest to get. Mm -hmm. We get the lowest amount of allocation for it, and since release for the redesign in 2023, I think we've gotten two. Mm -hmm. I don't have any stock right now, unfortunately. Um, with that being said, our weight line is not huge on it. So if you were interested in you're in Ontario, please give us a call, reach out. We'd love to help you out with it. Mm -hmm. I just don't have anything right now. Right about the 26 minute mark, so we'll probably start wrapping it up. But if we were not able to answer your questions between the Soul and the Celtos, or you have some curiosities about the two uh, <laughs> and weren't able to ask them during the live, please feel free to leave them just as a regular comment. We do try to stay up to date on comments and answer them if we can. And yeah. That's really it. Um, let's see. Do you think there will be any more cars removed or added to Kia and Hyundai's lineup in North America? I can't see anything else mm. being taken out now that the Soul Stinger in Rio is gone. So the Soul isn't gone yet. I will yeah. point that out. It is projected to end for the 2025 model year. Mm -hmm. Projected. Who knows? They might throw us a curveball and make it crazy. Like, and they're like, we're going to stay. Yeah. But from what we know, that's what's happening. Um, there definitely will be models added. Definitely. There's been no confirmation from head office, but I know deep down that Kia is making an electric pickup truck. And we can't wait. And we cannot wait. Obviously, no timeline on that, no specs on that, but it's not going to be a compact truck or a, mm. or a small truck like a Santa Cruz, a UTE or adventure truck. It's going to be a midsize which I'm really excited about. Yeah, We're um, feeling the conspiracy r rumors. Yeah, a bunch more EVs, different sizes. There's one that's going to be about soul size, soul celto size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of things. We're moving definitely into the process EV. of the electrification and plug-in-fication. Mm -hmm. I did try my best to squeeze any sort of information out of Kia Canada when yeah. we were at the auto show about the electric pickup truck, and they're like, Abby, we're not telling you. You're going to tell YouTube. I was like, yeah. oh, it's okay, guys. I already know the answer. It's happening. <laughs> well, on that note. <laughs> and that's why they don't <laughs> tell me anything. That's why we can't know anything. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's about it for today's live video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. If you are curious about anything else regarding the Kia Soul, the Celtos, or any of the vehicles in our lineup, please leave us a question down below in the comments. Absolutely. And we'd be happy to help you out. And of course, subscribe. Like this video. Leave a regular comment if you want. Let's get chatting. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. And we'll see you tomorrow with a Hyundai. See ya. Bye. Bye.